I, I guess a cliche you hear a lot from players is you make the biggest most progress from year one to year two. You know, now that you you you've had five starts under your belt, where do you see the biggest progress coming from you? Yeah, just the player speed and being able to read and react, um, being able to um, understand the schematics of what wants to be done on normal downs and third downs, and then also knowing what the offense that we're playing is trying to do and um, having a good grasp of what the game plan of how they want to attack us is and how we need to defend. Aaron, I know pretty much every game is a collection of kind of some bad plays and some good plays and all that. But but as a as a defense for y'all collectively, when most of a game goes okay, but then the very end of it with a couple plays just goes the way that you don't want it to go, what's the lesson that you learn from that? What's the discussion with coaches and, and with y'all in the locker room about avoiding those situations? Yeah, just knowing situational football at the end of the day and being able to um, – read and react off what they give us, you know, being able to have great communication and understand the plan of how plan of how we want to be able to um, hold a, the offense up, um, depending on um, the formation and our call, really. What do you see in Florida's offense? Obviously, that includes two different quarterbacks. Yeah, uh, obviously, you have the two different quarterbacks. Um, both of the guys do great things when the ball's in their hands, um, both dynamic, both be able to are both are able to run the offense very smoothly and be able to um, get things going. Um, just being able to see a lot of trade shifts and motions, a lot of uh, misdirection to get your, catch your eyes, and just uh, uh, a lot of misdirection with runs, and they want to be able to get the ball out in space. And you see a lot of great things that they do that we have to be able to go defend. What's just been the overall reaction from you and your teammates? How have you guys kind of handled this and responded to the loss? Yeah, um, you know, obviously, um, learn from our mistakes, be able to um, reassess the film, be able to get things corrected, and be able to flush um, last week down the drain and be able to bounce back and move on to this week coming up and going against a great opponent um, this Saturday in Neyland. So just the, the mindset is uh, just be hyper-focused and be able to – be on um, all our P's and Q's with um, call assignment alignment and being able to communicate during pre-snap, post-snap, and being able to fly around fast and be able to get back to the way we play football. Brent? When you're playing a guy, a quarterback who can move around, how much more challenging is your eyes in a game like that? And, and how challenging was it this past week? And what will you learn from that experience last week? moving forward with two mobile quarterbacks this week? Uh, obviously, you got to be assignment sound. Um, everybody, all 11 have to be able to do their job. Um, whenever you're going against a dual threat quarterback, um, a person who's able to move in the pocket and be able to create space with his, um, create time and extra time and space with his legs. And you just be able, you got to be able to corral um, the guy and get him down on the ground while being able to have great pass coverage. Um, you know, eyes is everything. Obviously, you got to know what your assignment is, who your man is, depending on zone of coverage, and you got to be able to go and play at the end of the day. Just how excited are you guys to finally be back in Neyland Stadium and have that crowd noise on your side? Oh, yeah, it's always great getting back in Neyland um, in front of 102, 3,000 screaming fans that have your back. And um, it's going to be a great environment Saturday night. Um, obviously, with Checker Neyland and just um, a lot of people who are going to be there, and just just having um, that 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 crowd around us to be able to, especially on defense, they're in a hostile environment. They have to um, change up their clap cadence or just anything. Any any edge that we get over is always a plus when you're at home on defense, and um, it's just going to be great to be back in Neyland, running through that T. Arian, how would you kind of describe the, the leadership on this team and what role do you think you kind of take in making sure that you guys forget last week but learn from it and, and reset and get ready to go this week? Yeah, obviously, um, the message has just been um, bounce back. Uh, obviously, um, not the result that we wanted, but um, sometimes you just got to take everything with a grain of salt and be able to learn from it and um, take the lessons um, and be able to um, progress. And you got to be able to bounce back and um, keep going up um, – up the mountain and being able to just be able to have a re-snap, re-clear mindset. Um, I feel like as far as my, like leadership role, I've just been being able to hold guys able, being able to hold guys to the standard, being able to hold them accountable, um, 
making sure that we don't take any plays off him because um, you see if, if you get any hints of um, being lackadaisical or if you get any hints of um, taking the foot off the gas per se, you, you end up with bad results. So we got to be able to make sure that we're um, get, uh, pedal, to, uh, pedal to the metal and be able to um, capitalize off this week and play Tennessee football. Before the season, you had mentioned slimming down and how that kind of helped you feel more comfortable out on the field. Just how have you seen that play out to your advantage through these first five games? Yeah, just being able to be at the weight I am now. And like I said before, I feel great. It's, it's a comfortable weight. And I'm able to play fast, read and react, and um, run with the best of them, especially in a, in a league that we play where you have to be able to run sideline to sideline as a linebacker while also fitting downhill. And I feel like I've been at a perfect weight and um, strength and speed to be able to go and be productive. Thank you.